how to record your own cover song using your phone, the BM800 condenser microphone, the Phantom Power, and the sound card V8. Hi, I'm Zeus Longkayana and you're watching ZL Mix TV. So today's video guys, I will show you how to record your own cover song or some say it song cover using your phone, the BM800 condenser microphone, the Phantom Power, and the sound card V8. But before that, I would like to invite you guys, especially if you are new to my channel, to please consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so that you will always get notified every time I upload a new video like this and other tutorials and gaming as well because I like also gaming. Now let's proceed to the recording. Okay, so first off, we are going to set this up first, this super affordable home studio recording package or equipment. Okay, so we have the BM800 condenser microphone. Lagay na natin to dito. And then, since we will be recording, so we'll need this uh, microphone foam muff. This is to lessen background noise. Okay, so lagay na natin dyan. And then the puff filter, nakaka-ready na yan. Okay, and then you are going to connect the female uh, female XLR connector to the microphone. You will hear a click there. And then the other end, uh, which is also an XLR connector, the female connector, you are going to connect this to you are going to connect this to the input of this uh, phantom power. Okay? So yeah, we po connect natin and then you will also hear a click which means it's already locked and it's properly connected there okay so pagkatapos nyo guys ito naman cable na ang dulo yung kabilang dulo ay XLR connector and the other end is uh, 3.5 mm jack uh, ito i-connect mo to sa output ng phantom power okay so i-connect na natin to okay you will hear another click which means it's already properly plugged and locked Okay, and then this one guys, so ito ngayon guys, itong, itong 3.5 mm jack, ito yung i-coconnect mo ngayon sa sound card V8. Okay, uh, ilagay lang mo natin ito dito ng dapat. Okay, so ayan. Make sure that this is connected to the condenser microphone port. Okay? So it's now connected. So ngayon, itong phantom power. So itong phantom power guys, uh, kailangan ito ng, ano, ng, ng AC adapter. So, so let's connect this to the AC input. Okay, and then let's plug this into the main source ng power. There you go. Okay, so this time guys, we are now going to connect this uh, sound card VA to the phone because this is where we are going to record. Okay, so ayan. Uh, meron tayong tatlong uh, cable connectors dito guys. So all you have to do is, is look for this uh, type of connector, yung micro USB and then the 3.5 mm uh, connector. Okay, so itong micro USB, you will be connecting this to either Live 1 or Live 2. So, pwede yun, kahit, kahit alin doon. Okay, so i-coconnect ko na lang to sa Live 1. And then, we are going to connect this to the phone. The moment I unplug this, the audio that you will be hearing from me will be coming from the onboard microphone of the Sony RX100 Mark 5A. Okay, so let's unplug this and... So, this is the sound coming from the Sony RX100 Mark 5A and now we are ready to plug this into the phone. Okay. Ayan guys, na-connect na natin yung sound card V8 sa phone. So, ang kailangan natin ngayon guys ay ang um, source ng ating track or minus one. So, kailangan natin yun. So, if you have an extra phone, you can use it as your source for accompaniment where you are going to play the track there. Okay? But in my case, I don't have an extra phone, so I will just be using the computer. Okay? So, ang kailangan ko lang ay yung ganitong connector para sa computer. Okay? So, yung, yung may USB connector. And then, the other one is for the sound card V8. But if you have an extra phone, you can use the, the, the other one. Okay? And then, connect this to the accompaniment and then to the phone. Okay? And then, play the track from the phone. Okay? So, ganun lang. Okay, so in my case, ito na nga, kukonik na natin to. Make sure that you will be connecting this to the accompaniment. Okay, so may accompaniment dito. There, and then, and then let's connect this to the computer. There you go. 
Hi guys, we have just connected the sound card VA to the computer. And the last thing guys is the earphone. Okay, so gagamitin mo to para ma-monitor mo yung audio mo. Yung kung gaano kalakas, kung okay na ba yung sound mo. Okay, so you will be needing this. But if you don't have an earphone, if you prefer to use a headset, it's fine. But make sure that the headset that you will be using is the headset which each connector is a 3.5 mm connector, not the not the not the USB headset. Okay, so ayan. Uh, in my case, I will be using the earphone, and you can connect this either to earphone or headset. Okay, so I will just use the headset para makita nyo na pwede naman talaga. Okay, ayan guys, uh, we're done with the setup. After the setup, guys, ito naman yung gagawin natin napaka importante. Okay, so unang-una, i-turn on na natin itong sound card V8. Just press hold the power button. Now it's turned on. Okay, then let's turn on the phantom power. May button din siya dito. Okay, now it's turned on. Okay, everything's ready. Now, since we are going to record our cover song uh, using our phone and all these things here, there's one important thing that you need to do. Ito yun guys. Ito yung napaka-importante yung gagawin dito guys. Itong, itong mga knobs dito sa sound card V8. Make sure that everything is set properly. Okay, so we are going to set everything from this sound card V8. So we are going to make some adjustments here. Okay, so we are going to adjust the treble. We are going to adjust the bass. We are going to adjust the knob from the record. And then the music and then the monitor. Then the microphone volume and the echo. Okay, so, ayan, simulan na natin. Okay, now, these are the things that you are going to adjust here. It, ito yung mga knobs to here. Okay, so, unang-una guys, itong microphone volume, isi-set mo sa maximum. And then, for the treble, lagay mo lang to sa mid. And then, for the bass, gusto ko medyo bassy. So, lalagay natin to sa maximum. And then, record, this is very important guys, no? You have to set this to the full. Maximum yan siya. And then for the music, you can set this to either maximum or 3 o'clock. Okay guys, now we're ready to record. And now the video is being shot on my phone. And at the same time, we are going to record our song cover or cover song using the phone together with the BM800 condenser microphone, the sound card V8, and the phantom power. Okay, so keep in mind that before you play the track, you need to press the record from your phone first and then play the track okay so let's add some echo guys uh, kasi hindi na natin kailangan mag-edit uh, as what I have uh, mentioned a while ago na kailangan i-set mo muna lahat kapag okay na sa iyo yung sound uh, then you can proceed to the recording okay so let's say for example okay na ito okay ah, let's play now the track Be my lady, come to me and take my hand and be my lady. Okay, so let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Mahirap ng mga copyright, okay? So, ayan guys, I have just shown you how to record your own cover song, although it's just a portion of it. Uh, but I have just shown you how to record your own cover song. And then the full setup of this uh, super budget home studio recording uh, package or equipment. Okay, so that's all for our today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And thank you so much for your support. Okay, just in case this is your first time to visit my channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so that you will always get notified every time I upload a new video like this and other tutorials and some gaming as well okay so that's all for today see you in my next video nothing's more divine than each moment you are mine